Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Joey! Good evening, my friends. Welcome to the Desert Inn, the most aptly named casino in Las Vegas, don't you think? What genius came up with this? The partners sat together, the Italians. It's in the desert, it's in the desert. And the Jewish one, hey, it's in, desert in, it's in. And here we are. I come to you tonight from a land where Jews and Arabs live together in peace. Beverly Hills. That's right, my friend. My name is Joey. Everybody gambles too much and then they bitch about it. Go out and have a good time. Take a walk. It's only 130 degrees. Take a walk. Watch the hair in your nose dry up. Take a walk. I got a grandmother who walks for health. She's been walking five miles a day since she was 64. She's 82 now. We don't know where the hell she is. And she keeps walking. I got to tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. I must say right now, you've cheered me up immeasurably. I wish you could say that to me. But you have cheered me up because today, my next door neighbor in Los Angeles, Mrs. Lipschitz, her husband, that's her name, her husband passed away. And they're older people, but nevertheless always sad. And she asked if I could help her write an obituary for Mr. Lipschitz. And I said, well, I really don't do that. But um, why don't you call the editor of the paper? And she calls the editor of the LA Times. She says, Mr. Editor, I want to leave an obituary for Mr. Lipschitz. Please write, Mr. Lipschitz was a loving man, a devoted father, a wonderful grandfather, a wonderful husband, a man known for his philanthropic activities both here and in the state of Israel. A man known to his community, the editor interrupts and says, Mrs. Lipschitz, before you go any further, I think you should know, it's five dollars a word. <laughs> she says, five dollars a word? All right, write Lipschitz dead. <laughs> no, no, he, he, he says, I can't write Lipschitz dead. That's not an obituary, Lipschitz dead. And besides, not only is it five dollars a word, it's a five word minimum. She says, five dollars a word, five word minimum. She says, uh, write Lipschitz dead, Buick for sale. I want to say right now, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot think of a more exciting place to be tonight, December 12, 1961, than here at the Desert Inn, with the possible exception of the White House. You gotta love President Kennedy, come on. That man knows how to rock and roll, don't you think, huh? I'll tell you how bad it's gotten. The other night, Lyndon Johnson's walking down the halls of the White House. He catches Kennedy coming out of Lady Bird's bedroom. Johnson says, hey Jack, I don't want no more of that. Kennedy said, neither do I. No. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he is our leader. He is our chief. He is the CEO himself. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the chairman of the board. Ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Davis, Mrs. Martin, and Mrs. Sinatra present their sons, the drunk singers. She gets hungry. Forget her rally. She loves the theater. However, doesn't get there late. She'd never bother with anyone she'd hate. Well, that's why the lady is a tramp. Magic has been 
and it's now. Oh, honey, Matthew, that you we so loud. I feel those eyes in the you. Hey, baby, I'm the guy that you came in with. She kissed me like the fellow once said, ain't that a kick in the head, Mr. Some exotic moves, there's a bar in Farm Bomb.